Okay, welcome back to 30 and 30. Number 18 is, oh, we lost Matt. We're, okay. we're good? Okay. <laughs> Number 18 is why in the world would I hire an agent when I already have an offer on my house? And today I have Matt Terry on with me. I had the pleasure of selling his and his wife Lindsay's house back in March and over in Twinsburg. And we had that exact scenario. So I just wanted to kind of take everybody through it. Matt, first of all, thank you so much for doing this with me. Absolutely, Lisa. Happy to be here. <laughs> so, so take me back to March before we met. What was your experience selling your home? So we tried to do it by owner. Um, we had about a three-month process of trying to sell it by owner. Um, it was not the experience that I was looking for. Um, had a lot of lowball offers, not in the you know of the realm that we were looking for to get out of the house. Um, so we start exploring options. Um, we interviewed probably about a dozen realtors. Um, and we luckily stumbled upon Lisa, who, you know, was just wanted it. She wanted to sell the house. Um, and that ultimately is what I saw in Lisa. I mean, she wanted to sell the house. She knew we could get more for the house. And just knowing that, that made our decision to hire the realtor, finding the right one. And that I, made all the difference in the world. Um, oh my gosh. I love that. Like when you told me like I was the 11th or 12th person that you talked to, agent, and I was like, yes, let's do this. But you actually, so I, but we had a like, we had a lot of conversations. It wasn't just you hired me on the spot. We talked mm -hmm. when we met at the house. And then we talked a couple of times after that. And I think it was a couple of weeks later that you hired me. But initially you had, you were listed for two, 2099 mm -hmm. and you had, wasn't it 2099, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then you had an offer on the table for, I think it was less than that. And you were thinking that you were just going to accept it. Correct. Yeah. I had an offer on a table ready to sign for about 170, um, which was way. Oh, I lost you again. <laughs> Come back. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I had a phone call. I apologize. That's okay. That's all right. Um, we had a um, offer on the table at 170 and we were on the verge of almost signing that. Um, and I was like, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> like I was literally. <laughs> and because you know what says a lot about you is that you were willing to go any extra mile for us to be a client of yours. And yeah. we saw that, you know, whatever um little agreement that we needed to make to the contract or the price you were able to make that for us on the spot where other people were kind of you know they're kind of back and forth with us a little bit um and, mm -hmm. and, and it's all about finding that right realtor and this is my first experience selling a house um may not be my last um so obviously if i do have to sell more homes i'll know I'll who i'll be contacting <laughs> um so an awesome experience i couldn't have imagined doing it on my own, like I was going through, that would have been terrible. Yeah, well, I'm happy. I'm happy that you trusted me because I saw the comps and I was like, okay, I know that like we could list this between 220, 230 and get it sold. And you would net far more, you would net more than you would selling it by owner full price at 210. So, and that, and that, and I knew you could always get it 170. I knew that. So I was, I was so happy that you trusted me. And I mean, after talking to so many agents, I know you weren't like comfortable with any of them. And I still had to, you know, work to, you know, you know, win your trust and everything like that. But I'm so happy that we did. And I have one more question because oftentimes I talk to people. I'm my office is in a mentor. You're in Twinsburg. That's 30 minutes away. So many times I talk to people and they're like, you're off. You're not a local agent. You're not a local agent. You can't help me. I want somebody in Twinsburg. So was that a reservation for you? Did you ever go, oh my gosh, I don't know. She's. Um, no, because you know what? It wasn't about where you're located. It was about your knowledge. Okay. Um, and, and your knowledge right. and the ability to look at the house and see the value in the house and know the area and be able to say, hey, Matt, these are the comps. These are what we need to aim for. You're a fool if you take anything less than that. <laughs> Those are the things that I looked at. I don't care where Lisa Cole is from or where she works out of. <laughs> I care about Lisa Cole's knowledge for the industry and how she's going to get this household. And that's ultimately what I led into and believed in. I appreciate that. And I wanted to point out that the agent who brought the buyer was from Mentor as well. So 
it does not matter where you are. It doesn't matter nope. if, as long as the agent is knowledgeable and you know knows the market, knows what buyers are looking for in that area, then you know that's all we need. Thank you so much. Is there anything you want to add if, if anybody's thinking about selling by owner? Because what I'll say is sometimes it is the right choice to sell by owner. Sometimes I can't net people more. Sometimes it's just for whatever reason is the best route. But do you have anything that you want to say to people who are thinking about it, considering you've been through it? it it's a lot. Oh, by the way, we forgot to tell everybody that we put it under contract for you. We listed it at 299 and we sold it for 250 Hello? <laughs> In, in how many days again? Remind me, Six. how many days was that? Six. Six wow. days. For 250. Wow. Yay! Yep. She did it. She yes. did it. I, I had a me. lot of doubters. I had a lot of realtors <laughs> tell me to sell it for the 170. And I was like, mm. I just don't have a great feeling about that. <laughs> yeah, you see, and I saw the I saw the value for sure. But I mean, so for people who are thinking about selling my owner because they think they're going to make more money, what would be your advice to them? Um, save yourself the headache. Honestly, save yourself the headache. It's like anything else. I tell people, there's a reason you're a realtor. There's a reason there's electricians. They're good at what they do. There's a reason you hire a plumber to come do your plumbing because you obviously want it to work correctly. If you want things to go smoothly, you have to hire, excuse me, the right person in that industry. It's as simple as that. I'm not a realtor by trade. Um, right. I'm very knowledgeable at selling things because I'm a salesman, but it's not selling a house. It's not really what you want to put yourself or your family through, um, yeah. especially in this day and age. Um, you can get the most out of your money. The market right now can be, can be a tricky one. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought being a market with not as many houses in um, on the market right. or our industry is still kind of depleted. Um, I thought for sure it'd be an easy, easy sale. Uh, yeah. Completely wrong. Completely wrong. So like anything else, you have you to hire the right person. Too. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And at least again, I mean, at least talk to some good experienced agents. And if you decide it's not the way for you to go, it may not be, but at least talk to a few of them, not necessarily 12. I wouldn't recommend that, but <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun to me. Oh my gosh. Well, no. thank you so much for coming on, Matt. I am so, so thankful and I'm so happy we got it done and got it done right. Yeah. And I'll let you get back to business. Conquering yeah, the world. You know All right. You know, Have a good rest of the day. Great seeing you. Take care. Mm -hmm. If you have anything, let me know. Same. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.